Good day guys, welcome to Exam Bonus YouTube channel, yeah, welcome to this channel, I want you all to subscribe to this channel, like our video and make sure comment when necessary, if you have a question, drop it in the comment section below and if you want to contact us, you can contact us via our website www.exambonus.com, I will also drop my WhatsApp video at the end of this, my WhatsApp number at the end of this video so let's go straight to the point this video we want to discuss about why biology practical rules so what are the rules behind why biology practical one thing you should know is that your biology practical in why consists of 40 percent of your grade so if everything is over 100 your practical is taking 40 percent meanwhile your theory and your obj are sharing 60 percent so anyone that's looking forward to making an a in any science subject you make sure that he or she bags the 40 marks of the practical in order to be one step ahead in the examination so why biology practical there are a lot of mistakes people believe that biology is one of the simplest subjects so biology is simple but once you make mistake in these rules you are going to be left behind so let's get straight down to the point so my rule number one is that when you are identifying your specimens in the exam so i'm going to post a link to the video maybe i'll post that very later i'll post it in the comment section there will be a link or you can check our channel for the link the video of the why biology practical specimens for this year this video you are just going to talk about the rules we're not going to talk about the specimens there's going to be another video for the why biology specimen so when identifying the specimen, let the first letter be a capital letter. So, assuming the specimen A of our biology practical exam is H1, we are going to make sure that the big, when you are told to identify, identify specimen A, capital letter, the H1 should start with what? The first letter of the capital of the H1 should what? Capital letter E, then the others can be small letter. But you should also know that when you are told to identify specimen that in which you are going to answer the specimen with the zoological name or biological name. So, as example is Agama Agama, you know that you are going to write the first letter word Agama of capital letter, then the second word will write small letter, and then what you underline both or you write it in its leaks. The best thing is to underline both. So, you should make sure you know how to write botanical name and zoological name the correct way. So, when I define specimen, let the first letter be a capital letter. That's very, very, very important. Then, the second rule of biology practical is labeling should be done horizontally. So when you are told to label your specimens, make sure you are using a ruler and you draw the line horizontally to the right hand of your book. Like the way the book is facing you, the right hand side. So the right hand side of this board is the practical side, wire biology practical. So you label it towards what? Practical. So that is the right hand side of my book. So another thing is that those labeling, those lines you are drawing horizontally, don't let them overlap. Don't let them overlap one on other. That's the rule three. So your labeling should not overlap. So if you want to draw a labeling from the down, make sure it go horizontally that down. If it's at the up, let it go horizontally. Don't let one labeling cross another labeling. The lines of that labeling, don't let it cross the other. So that is, don't let your labeling overlap. Once you make any of this mistake, there will be a subtraction of your mark. It can be minus half or minus one. And no one you are losing those little marks. They say drops of water are what make an ocean. So once you are losing those marks, you are losing part of your what? Of your 40 marks in your practical. Then, rule number four. Let your drawings be sharp and clear. So the best pencil I will prescribe that you should use is HB pencil for your drawing and 2B pencil for labeling. So those pencils will make your work very neat and clear. So then the last point. Always find the magnification of image after drawing. So let me explain what magnification is. You know, in physics, you have been taught magnification. Same thing comes, same comes to biology. You'll be giving your physical specimens in the exam. So you can use your ruler to take the length of the specimen. Then when you want to draw, you can also take the length of your drawing. Then use that to cal calculate the magnification of your drawing. So assuming I use my ruler to measure the length of my specimen in centimeters, two centimeters, then my drawing is four centimeters long then my magnification will be what height of the image height of the image is the image on the notebook on your answer script so that one will be height of the image divided by height of the object height of the object is the physical specimen you are giving in the exam one. 
So that will be height of the image divided by height of the object. That will give you your what? Your magnification. And I said that my image is what? 4 centimeters. My object is what? 2 centimeters. That will be what? 4 over 2. That will be what? Times 2. So the answer of my magnification will be what? Magnification is equal to what? Times 2. If the image in your book is smaller than the specimen, that means you should be expecting something like times a fraction, times half, times 1 over 3. So whichever way, you should make sure that you always add the magnification of your images to your drawing. That's very, very important. So we have come to the end of this video. So those are everything you need for your white biology practical. The little advice I will give to you is that make sure you study your specimens before the exam. And if at all you want to subscribe or you want to pay for our WAIC assistance, you should message us on WhatsApp for your legit WAIC assistance or you visit our website www.exambonus.com for your WAIC Expo subscription. So I'll be expecting your message. And if you have any questions as regards the WAIC biology practical, you can direct them to our WhatsApp number 0903-234-7323. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much.